All new at six officials in Tamaulipas tightening rules for car owners. They're attempting to crack down on so-called chocolate cars. Those are used vehicles imported into Mexico from the U.S. The state is now issuing chips for cars coming from outside of the country. Channel 5's Jennifer Carpenter explains how this new program works. That's right. They're sometimes called chocolate cars, chocolate cars. And the new rule started on January 1st. It impacts thousands of these vehicles foreign to Tamaulipas. They're always stealing cars. It's something Orstina Petty says happens all too often in the border towns of the Rio Grande Valley. I've lived all my life here in, in the valley, and I heard about so many cars being transferred to Mexico, and they automatically don't disappear. Tamaulipas state authorities are taking a stab at solving the problem from their side of the border. As a way to guarantee a car was acquired legally, the owner paid taxes to import a car into Mexico and the vehicle is insured, the director of communications in Tamaulipas says all cars passing through the state must get a special sticker. The Undersecretary of Revenue for Tamaulipas explains the sticker includes a chip and verifies the driver has third-party damage insurance, a new requirement for thousands of so-called chocolate cars on the road. For those who don't know, a chocolate car is more than just a used vehicle. In Mexico, it's a used vehicle that's been imported in from a different country. Se llaman chocolates porque no son ni de allá ni de acá. Son carros robados, son carros eh, extraídos de otra manera diferente que llegan a las fronteras a través de diferentes eh, cuestiones. Pero no, I no have title, no tienen título. Tamaulipas' Undersecretary of Revenue says in Mexico, eight of ten crimes committed are by people who drive these vehicles. They'll now have an electronic trail verifying the owner, something like what Penny's friend experiences each time she crosses the border to visit friends in Reynosa. They put in the license plate and it's her car is from over here from San Juan, so they know where she's from. This year, those Texas plates in Mexico may stand out. Quintanilla explains the law will not impact vehicles with registration in the United States, only vehicles that are staying in Tamaulipas. In studio, Jennifer Carpenter, Channel 5 News at 6.